Yes, this is Mr. Manika John once again with the P4 Science. And uh, today I'm going to take you somewhere that, uh, that, we always, uh, that, we, that we always do, the activities that we always do and that benefit our lives. And where shall I take you? I'm going to take you to my lesson of growing crops or crop growing. And uh, when we talk about crop growing, it is quite a wide uh, topic, but uh, allow me to only talk about food path today. What do we, what are we going to learn about and what do I expect from you? One, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to one, define the term food path. Two, mention the types of food path. Three, you should be able to state the types or the stages of village food path. You will be able to give the reasons why people carry out seed selection. Then another one, you will be able to tell me the ways of preparing the land for crop growing. Let's continue. Let's first understand what is a food path. What is a food path? The way you, you, you hear the word path, it's like a way, like a road, a road. But this time they have added food path. They have added the word uh, food. Now, what does it mean? Food paths are different stages of food production. Food paths are different stages of food production. Or we can say food paths are stages of food production from clearing the land to the time the food is, be, is eaten. So the stages that they take, right from where the land is cleared by digging, plowing, then you plant what? All those stages until you eat food at home, like the one you're about to eat for lunchtime or supper. Those, those stages that they go through, they, that is what we call food pass. So what are the types of food paths? We have mainly two types of food paths. But you ask your brother there that you are seated with. Let him tell you the types of food paths. Before I give you mine, what are the types of food paths that we have? That's good. You, if he has told you, compare his answer with mine. We have one, village food path, and the Town food pass, village food pass, and the town food pass. So we shall look at each of them, but not to all of them today. We shall only go with the village food pass. What are what is village food pass? Village food pass are different stages of food of food production in rural areas. Those stages people go through in villages to produce food. That, that's what we call village food path. Now, when, it, when you are talking about a village food path, what are the stages that the people take, that people go through in order to produce food in rural areas? Let's look at them. One. We have land preparation. Can you say land preparation? Or we can call it land clearing. Two, we have, after you have cleared your land, you do what you call seed selection or sorting seeds. You sort the seeds that are broken, you remove. Seeds that have been affected by diseases, you remove. Seeds that have, be, that have holes 
eaten by pests, produced, caused by pests, you remove those ones. Why do they carry out that? We shall look at it later. But after seed selection, you carry out planting or sowing. You have prepared the land. That's the first stage. Second stage, seed selection. Third stage, planting or sowing. You get the seeds and take them to the garden and plant them. And after planting, you can't leave them like that. Then you have to do what we call caring for crops in the garden or caring stage. After caring, what do you do next? Harvesting, because they will grow mature and you'll need it to harvest and gandhi, use them the way you want at home. Then after that, preparing food, you have harvested, prepare food, then eating is the last stage. Eating is the last stage. Now, these stages here, we shall be looking at each of them at a go. Each of them at a go. But let's look at land preparation. What are the ways that people use to prepare the land for planting? What are the ways people prepare their, uh, prepare for planting crops? One, by plowing. People carry out plowing, harrowing, uh, digging, slashing, and then burning bushes, the controlled burning of bushes, not just setting fire on a bush. These are the ways people prepare land for planting. Now, let's see. This is one of the ways of planting. You can see this one is cutting a bush. They're trying to prepare the land for planting crops. Let's look at seed selection as another stage of food path. So what does it mean? And what activities carried out in seed selection? One, it involves sorting and identifying. What am I saying? You sort. After sorting, you identify the, one, the seeds that have holes, those that don't have holes, those that have cracks, those that don't have cracks, and those that were affected by pests. And the, the qualities of planting materials, those are the seeds. They should be free from pests and diseases. They should be free from pests and diseases. And the two, these seeds or planting materials should be mature. Don't get young seeds and say, I'm going to plant those ones because they, will may, they may not germinate. And for not damaged or broken, they should not have been damaged or broken because they will not germinate. Uh -huh. These are the ones that I'm talking about. These ones uh, are the, the seeds that don't have holes, whereas these ones have holes. These ones, when you plant, they will just rot, and the other things will be eating them in just in the soil, or they will rot, because they will not germinate. Then, um, what are we supposed to, to what, why do people carry out seed selection? One, it prevents seed dormancy. It prevents seed dormancy. What is seed dormancy? Seed dormancy is the failure of the seeds to germinate. The failure of the seeds to germinate. If, seeds, if you plant the seeds in the garden and they fail to germinate, we call it what? Seed dormancy. Now, how can you prevent seed dormancy? By proper selection of the seeds. Now, these are, the, these are some of the things to remember. One is... Uh, Seed viability. What is seed viability? Seed viability is the ability of the seeds to germinate. Then viable seeds. Viable seeds are seeds that are able to germinate. Then we, uh, I have already told you that the failure of the seeds to germinate is called seed dormancy. Now, uh, members, I'm going to give to leave you with 
an activity that you carry out and then you write it properly, put there the answers, and uh, I'll come back and we discuss. And we see, we mark ourselves and we see who got it, who got what right. So you are going to write that and we shall mark ourselves. Thank you very much for being with me.